Okay, in this lecture we're going to be entering our quantities and costs into these columns and then we're going to format those numbers just to make them look good in our spreadsheet. So first you just click on the cell that you want to enter your first number in and you can type in your number, hit the enter key, type in your next number, hit the enter key, and I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste these. And then we can go up to our costs and do the same thing. Start entering our costs and hit enter. And I'll copy and paste these to make it quick as well. And there we have all of our values. But as you can see, these don't really look that great in our spreadsheet. So we're going to do a little bit of formatting just to make them look better. So first we'll highlight all the quantity numbers and we'll be using this number formatting section up here to do some simple formatting for them. So right now it's formatted as a regular number which is actually what we want. And we can go in here to the alignment. You can see that we have a lot of options in here for formatting our numbers. We're just going to change this to aligning our text to the right and click OK. Now we could also do that by going up here and clicking center, left, or right. That just lines up our numbers and makes them a little bit easier to read. And then we'll go over to our costs and we need to change these to dollars rather than just regular numbers. And there are a couple of ways to do this. We can either go right here to this quick formatting tab and just click dollars and that's going to automatically insert our dollar signs and put the, the cents in there. And for this one to keep it clean, since we don't have, we only have dollars, we don't have any cents, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the cents. So it just shows the dollar amounts, keeps it a little cleaner. But you'll notice there are tons of different ways that you can format things. You can do just numbers with decimals, you can do currency, accounting, you can do dates, times, percentages, and there are even more formatting options if you click here. But in this case, we're just doing our numbers and that's really all we need. And then at this point, we can change these column sizes a little bit to make them a little bit more relevant. And on second thought, I don't really like that without the decimals, so I'm gonna go ahead and add our decimals back in there. Just looks a little bit more like the dollar amounts that we're looking for. So that's how you enter and format numbers into your columns. And next, we'll go ahead and create some formulas to create our total for our quantity times our costs, and then a total down at the bottom.